Atracinae, commonly known as Australian funnel web spiders, is a subfamily of spiders in the funnel web spider family Hexarthalidae. Atracinae consists of three genera, Atrax, Hadronic, and Illawarra. The subfamily includes species with medically significant venom, six species of which have severely envenomed human victims. The bite of Atrax robustus is potentially deadly, but there have been no fatalities since the introduction of modern first aid techniques and antivenom. The subfamily contains 35 species. All members of the subfamily are native to Australia. Description These spiders are medium to large in size, with body lengths ranging from 1 cm to 5 cm. They are darkly colored, ranging from black to blue black to plum to brown, with a glossy, hairless carapace covering the front part of the body. Like the related diplorid spiders, some hexarthalids have relatively long spinnerets. This is especially true of A. robustus. Males have a large mating spur projecting from the middle of their second pair of legs. Like other Megalomorphia euro and infrauda of spiders that includes the tropical tarantulas a euro these spiders have fangs which point straight down the body and do not point towards each other. They have ample venom glands that lie entirely within their chalice array. Their fangs are large and powerful, capable of penetrating fingernails and soft shoes. Funnel webs make their burrows in moist, cool, sheltered habitats a euro under rocks, in and under rotting logs, some in rough bark trees. They are commonly found in suburban rockeries and shrubberies, rarely in lawns or other open terrain. A funnel web's burrow characteristically has irregular silk trip lines radiating from the entrance. Unlike some related trapdoor spiders, funnel webs do not build lids to their burrows. The primary range of the Australian funnel web spiders is the eastern coast of Australia, with specimens found in New South Wales, South Australia, Victoria, and Queensland. The only Australian states or territories without funnel webs are Western Australia and the Northern Territory. Medical significance Six species have severely envenomed human victims, including the sea funnel web, northern tree funnel web, southern tree funnel web, blue mountains funnel web, darling downs funnel web and the port macquarie funnel web. Australian funnel webs are one of the most dangerous groups of spiders in the world and are regarded by some to be the most deadly, both in terms of clinical cases and venom toxicity. Examination of bite records has implicated wandering males in most if not all fatal funnel web bites to humans. Adult males, recognized by the modified terminal segment of the palp, will defend themselves vigorously if they feel threatened and tend to wander during the warmer months of the year looking for receptive females for mating. They are attracted to water and hence are often found in swimming pools, into which they often fall while wandering. The spiders can survive such immersion for several hours and can deliver a bite when removed from the water. They also show up in garages and yards in suburban Sydney. Contrary to a commonly held belief, no funnel web spider is able to jump, although they can run quickly. While some very venomous spiders may give dry bites, these spiders do so much less frequently. An inefficient mode of delivery and interrupted contact are also possible causes of low volume delivery. It has been claimed that approximately 10% to 25% of bites will produce significant toxicity but the likelihood cannot be predicted and all should be treated as potentially life-threatening. Funnel webs are not normally aggressive but will defend themselves vigorously if frightened or threatened. During an attack the funnel web spider generally maintains a tight grip on its victim and bites repeatedly, making it an especially traumatic experience for humans who are bitten and increasing the risk of severe envenomation. There have been 27 recorded deaths in Australia in the last 100 years from spider bites. Bites from Sydney funnel web spiders have caused 13 deaths. In all cases where the sex of the biting spider could be determined, it was found to be the male of the species. Most victims were young, ill or infirm. One member of the genus Hadronic, the northern tree funnel web has also been claimed to cause fatal envenomation but, to date, this lacks the support of a specific medical report. Assays of venom from several hadronic species have shown it to be similar to Atrax venom. Toxins There are many different toxins in the venom of Atrax and hadronic spiders. Collectively, these spider toxins are given the name Atrax toxins, 
as all these spiders belong to the subfamily Atracinae. The first toxins isolated were the IACTX toxins present in the venom of both A. robustus and H. bursuta. Both these toxins produce the same funnel web envenoming syndrome in monkeys as that seen in humans, suggesting that they are responsible for the physiological effects seen with crude venom. These toxins are thought to operate by opening sodium channels. They are presynaptic neurotoxins that induce spontaneous, repetitive firing of action potentials in autonomic and motor neurons and inhibit neurally mediated transmitted release resulting in a surge of endogenous acetylcholine, noradrenaline and adrenaline. Although extremely toxic to primates, the venom appears to be fairly harmless to many other animals. It has been suggested that these animals may be resistant to the venom's effects due to the presence of IgG, and possibly cross-linked IgG and IgM inactivating factors in their blood plasma that bind to the toxins responsible and neutralize them. The female venom was thought to be only about a sixth as potent to humans as that of the male. The bite of a female or juvenile may still be serious. However, considerable variability occurs in venom toxicity between species together with assumable degrees of inefficiency in the method of venom delivery. Symptoms Envenomation symptoms observed following bites by these spiders are very similar. The bite is initially very painful, due to the size of the fangs penetrating the skin. Puncture marks and local bleeding are also usually visible. If substantial envenomation occurs, symptoms will generally occur within minutes and progress rapidly. Early symptoms of systemic envenomation include goosebumps, sweating, tingling around the mouth and tongue, twitching, salivation, watery eyes, elevated heart rate and elevated blood pressure. As systemic envenomation progresses symptoms include nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, agitation, confusion, writhing, grimacing, muscle spasms, pulmonary oedema, metabolic acidosis and extreme hypertension. The final stages of severe envenomation include dilation of the pupils, uncontrolled generalized muscle twitching, unconsciousness, elevated intracranial pressure and death. When death occurs it is generally as a result of progressive hypertension or possibly elevated intracranial pressure consequent on cerebral oedema. The onset of severe envenomation can be rapid. In one prospective study, the median time to onset of envenomation was 28 minutes, with only two cases having onset after two hours. Death may occur within a period ranging from 15 minutes to three days. Treatment Due to the severity of symptoms, and the speed with which they progress, in areas where these spiders are known to live all bites from large black spiders should be treated as though they were caused by a funnel web spider. First aid treatment for a suspected funnel web spider bite consists of immediately applying a pressure immobilization bandage. A technique which consists of wrapping the bitten limb with a crepe bandage, as well as applying a splint to limit movement of the limb. This technique was originally developed for snake bites but has also been shown to be effective at slowing venom movement and preventing systemic envenomation in case of funnel web spider bite. There is evidence to suggest that periods of prolonged localization may slowly inactivate the venom. Emergency medical treatment should be sought as soon as possible. It is important that the pressure immobilization bandage not be removed prematurely. It should remain in place until intravenous access has been established, adequate medical monitoring is in place and a supply of antivenom is available. A patient who is not displaying any symptoms of systemic envenomation may deteriorate rapidly when the bandage is removed. Further supportive care may be necessary, but the mainstay of treatment is antivenom. Antivenom is raised against male Atrax robustus venom but appears to be effective for all species of funnel web spiders. Funnel web antivenom has also been shown to reverse the in vitro effects of eastern mouse spider venom. Prior to the introduction of antivenom, envenomation resulted in significant morbidity and mortality. The purified rabbit IgG antivenom was developed in 1981 through a team effort led by Dr. Struan Sutherland. Head of Immunology at the Australian Commonwealth Serum Laboratories in Melbourne. Fortunately, the antivenom is fast acting and highly and globally effective. Antivenom therapy has shortened the course of envenomation. Prior to antivenom availability, 
the average length of hospital treatment for severe bites was about 14 days. Today, antivenom treated patients are commonly discharged from hospital within one to three days. There have been no known deaths since it became available. Species The subfamily includes the following genera and species, including their common names and distribution. Atrax OP Cambridge, 1877. Atrax Robustus OP Cambridge, 1877. A Euro Sydney, Blue Mountains, Illawarra, Hunter, New South Wales. Atrax York May and Orem Gray, MR, 2010. A Euro Australian Capital Territory and River Inner, Atrax Sutherlandy Gray, MR, 2010. A Euro Far South Coast of New South Wales and East Gibbsland, Victoria. Hodronic L. Koch, 1873. Hodronic Alpina Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Kosciusko National Park, New South Wales to Brindabella Range, Australian Capital Territory, Hodronic Adelidensis A Euro South Australia, Hodronic Anacristia Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Kawong and Lawn State Forest, New South Wales, Hodronic ANZSES Raven, 2000 A Euro Queensland, Hodronic Siberia L. Koch, 1873 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Emil's I Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Ira A Euro South Australia, Hodronic Flinders A Euro South Australia, Hodronic Formidabilis A Euro Queensland, New South Wales, Hodronic Infants A Euro Queensland, New South Wales, Hodronic Insularis A Euro Solomon Islands, Hodronic Jenseni Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Gibbsland, Victoria, Hodronic Capitarensis Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Endemic to Mount Caputa, Hodronic Levitt Greg A Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Hawkesbury River Region, New South Wales, Hodronic Linebrake Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Macquariensis Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Maraconda Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Mascordi Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Meridiana Hogg, 1902 A Euro Victoria, Hodronic Modesta A. Euro Victoria, Hodronic Monero Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Montiithi Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Border Ranges, Killarney, Queensland, Hodronic Nemala Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Arana Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Pulvinator A Euro Tasmania, Hodronic Raveney Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Conandale Range, Queensland, Hodronic Tambo Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Gibbsland, Victoria, Hodronic Valade A Euro Queensland, New South Wales, Hodronic Venonati A Euro Tasmania, Hodronic Versuta A Euro New South Wales, Hodronic Walker Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro New South Wales. Illawarra Gray, MR, 2010. Illawarra Ishati Gray, MR, 2010 A Euro Illawarra Region, New South Wales. Footnotes. External links, Arachnology Home Pages, Arania, Arachnology Home Pages, Atrax, Platnik, NI. 2003. World Spider Catalog, Funnel Web Spider Info, Information. Distribution and pictures of A. robustus, Australian Michelomorphial primitive spiders.